It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. It's now that time when we talk about the fan zone where everything has, we have been waiting for, for this. And today we are bringing new people to the fan zone family. Joining us for the first time, we've got Brenda Aworo. How are you, Brenda? I'm fine. Welcome to the touchline. Thank you. Long time. Yes. Yeah. Well, and also Vitalis Marubo is also joining us here for the touch. Vitalis, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm well. You are well? Yeah. So I understand you are a Chelsea fan. Fan Sugu or Chelsea? Fan Sugu. <laughs> but before to get Mambo at Chelsea, lazima to answer Mambo England. But England relegated from the UEFA Nations uh, top group to the second division. How about that? Yeah, to me, it's, it's quite sad mm -hmm. to see, you know, England, they have a lot of talents. Mm. Not only talents, yeah. but young talents. What mm -hmm. to want to vibe no masana football, Sancho, as in very young lads mm -hmm. when you, they have that any the zeal. Mm -hmm. But to me, England, the coach, the tactics. Brenda, yes. is it the coach or the players? Where is the problem? Mm, personally. Mm. I, I think I'm a fan of England, first of all. Oh, yeah. the Lions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if I, yesterday if I watched the match, uh, tactically it was okay. I think the problem with the Southgate, I think it's just the team selection. Mm -hmm. it's, getting a bit, it's, it's getting it a bit hard because, you know, with England, there are a lot of the, the, the players, mm -hmm. they are good. He has a lot of players, he has a lot of talent, mm -hmm. he's got a lot of young players, but I think it's the selection a bit and the tactics mm -hmm. that he used yesterday. Yeah. I think just I just think Italy were good. Italy were yeah. better. Apoqua selection. Leaving Sancho out, was it bad for him? Which other player was not selected? Um, and Mount. which players got a chance but they not deserve to get that chance? Okay, first and foremost, mm -hmm. uh, Sancho, leaving Sancho out, for me, mm -hmm. it's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know Sancho, at the moment, it's when he's picking up. Mm -hmm. If you can watch the games, uh, the Manchester United games, the lad is, you can see he's working hard to do things and great things. For me, uh, Harry Kane, I have an issue with him, mm -hmm. the number nine position. Yes. I don't feel like... He's, he's delivering what he's, what he's supposed to deliver. There is a short, Niliona Aliweka, hey, Jaman, finesse. He's trying to finesse something. Yeah, yeah, you And I am fans. So, Arikan, to me, Bado, he's not that number nine. Yes. Yes, he, need, he needs to, to work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that one looks to be a tough one. For you, Brenda, what do you think of the selection of England? For me, yesterday, I think uh, Trippier would have been better. And uh, again, Harry Maguire, I don't think Harry Maguire is, is out of form now. The criticisms, he's, being crit he's getting those critics from the fans, Manchester United, you know. You need a little time at least to catch up, to feel everything. He can feel better again. Now, with Harry Maguire, I think he would have been left out. Uh, on the number nine situation, the forward, uh, the number nine, okay, hurricane, mm -hmm. I think yesterday he was selfish. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, needed him, he, he needed it for himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a, I think, um, was it Rhys James? There was a pass that he got from Rhys James. I think he could have passed the ball to Sterling mm -hmm. or uh, Jude. He was in the middle, but he, he decided to go for himself, yeah. which he shot. I think if it was a fan, he was injured or she was injured, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. He could have tried. We have Tammy Abraham. Uh, there is this guy, Ivan Tony, mm -hmm. from Brentford. Yeah. Yes. He's good. He could have been subbed off around uh, 60 minutes or so, mm -hmm. or just half time. Mm -hmm. Harry Kane was not himself yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is England yesterday, but some of the results we got also. England lost to Italy 1-0, a repeat of uh, what happened actually in the U UEFA finals. And also we had German losing to Hungary by one goal to nil. France won at home 2 nil against Austria. And then uh, Luka Modric side Croatia 1-2-1 against uh, the Ericsson of Denmark. Belgium 2-1 against Wales. And then uh, Poland lost at home to Netherlands by two goals 
and the UEFA Nations League. Now, England have been relegated from that one. We'll be following up to tell you everything that will be happening. Some of the matches that will be happening today will be having Czech Republic playing Portugal at 15 to 10, and then Spain versus Switzerland. This might be some of the last competitions for Cristiano Ronaldo now for Portugal. Oh, you are still expecting to save at the World Cup. I <laughs> yeah, yes. I think he will play at the World Cup. You know, Cristiano Ronaldo, mm -hmm. right now, uh, he's still the best. He's, he's still that good. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think he will be at the World Cup. Mm -hmm. mm, today, he will score. Today? Yeah. Wow, that's a bet that you have been told. <laughs> Cristiano? <clears throat> well, first and foremost, when you talk about the goat issue, yes, it will never end. <laughs> but for me, my goat mm -hmm. is the great number seven, mm -hmm. CR7. Wow. <clears throat> right now he is out of shape, mm -hmm. but he will come back. Yes. The guy is a worker. He's a hard worker. Yeah. 37. He's 37 years young, not yes. 37 years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's still going to perform. Yeah, he said uh, for uh, during a media uh, conference, mm -hmm. I think so. He said that this is not the world, the last World Cup yeah. we will see of him. Yes. So when my God says that, mm -hmm. I expect him to deliver. He's my God. <laughs> well, a big one. They will be waiting to see how it happens. And we are hanging out with two Chelsea fans in studio today. We've got Vitalis and also Brenda joining us here for some of the match for the fans on actually. And now let's take a bit of a switch there and talk about Chelsea Football Club. New coach that you have now in Graham Potter. How how do you feel that Graham Potter is your coach today? Do you see a future of uh, trophies with Graham Potter? Yeah. He is my coach. Yeah. We will support him. Uh -huh. Yeah, but for me, I think Thomas Tuchel would have been given a, a little time. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, he came, he conquered. Uh -huh. We won Champions League, we won FIFA Club World Cup, uh -huh. we won the Super Cup with Tuchel. Yeah. Tuchel was my guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I loved him. You know, with football, sometimes you, with the coaches, it's not about winning all the games. Mm -hmm. It's not about winning every day. Yeah. yeah, it's about learning. It's just like one month ago, the, the new players came in. Mm -hmm. uh, the likes of Mark Kukurea. We have uh, Kulibali. We, uh, we have Raheem Sterling. We have Zakaria. Yeah. I think um, Tukel needed much more time, sorry. Mm -hmm to build his team, yes. to know, to let the players gel first. Mm -hmm. With the defense, Antonio Rudiger went to Real Madrid. We, we were left by Christian Christensen. Uh, I think with the center backs, mm -hmm. we needed more time at least for Kulibali and Thiago Silva. Yes. At least they could play together, learn each other, understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Kulibali is from Italy. We are, yes, Thiago Silva is, best, is, is the best defender now. I, ca yeah. I can't say that. He's my best <laughs> defender. Without fear of Without fear, <laughs> yeah, he's the best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are Kulibali. At least uh -huh. Tukel could have been given time. But for me, I think with Todd, yeah. this uh, Graham Potter issue, I think it was something planned. Ah. Yeah, I think it was something planned before, not even the issue of uh, lo Chelsea losing to Zagreb. Yes. No, 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 that was not the issue. It was a conspiracy. Yeah, I think it was a conspiracy because yeah. I heard that England were planning to take uh, Graham Potter mm -hmm. as their new coach. Yeah. yeah. So now maybe, I don't know, y you know Brighton with Chelsea, Brighton and Chelsea, yes, Brighton were doing good. Tactically, they were better. Yeah, this season they have, they have been shining. Yeah, now with the uh, Porter, I don't know, but we, we will give him all the support. What are your views with the Graham Porter now becoming your coach? Uh, Trophies galore? Yeah. <laughs> but for me, the sucking of Thomas Tokolo was, was a bit of a shocker. It hurt you probably. No, no, it, it didn't hurt me, but yes. it was a shocker. <laughs> you cannot give somebody 250 million quid to yes. spend during the summer, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. I think some days after the window, yes, he's sucked. It mm -hmm. was a shocker. But for me, Graham Potter, yeah, I'm quite confident in him uh, with the Premier League. Yes, but 
I have some reservations mm -hmm. coming to the European competition. Uh -huh. I, I think he has uh, some little bit experience in the Euro, yeah, Europa European, League. yeah, Europa, Europa League competition. Yes. But the UEFA, he made his debut when we played against was it Salzburg? Salzburg. Yeah. yeah. But Graham Potter, the tactics that he uses, I, I, he can switch from a four-three-three to a three-four-three. Mm -hmm. I like, I like his style of play. Yes. Uh, when he was in Brighton, you see people like uh, Caicedo shining, mm -hmm. and I, I think he will, he will be there. Kukurea was his player. Actually, some players like Billy Gilmo, they joined. Like the three players from Brighton joining Chelsea. Three. Yeah. Well, it was Marco Korea. It was Marco Korea. Only it was Marco Korea. Oh. In Only. January they will join. Yeah, but in January <laughs> I expect I expect that they will make a bid for Caicedo. Yeah. Yes. Macalista, Macalista is a very great forward. Trossard. Mm -hmm. Trossard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it might, it might go the Ten Hag way of the trading is a yeah. former club. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So uh, another talking point will be now the September coach of the month. We saw Ateta winning the October. Is it in? Yeah, they are the yeah. August. Yeah, they are August, the coach of the month. Now we've got September. We've got, we've got uh, Eric Ten Hag. Conte, There's Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte there. And uh, these are for Bournemouth, I don't know. So, mm -hmm. uh, how do you see, who, who is going to take that one? Because uh, both of those teams have really been performing well. Who do you see winning that one? For me, uh, I will give the great Antonio Conte, <laughs> the coach of the month award. Yes. The guy, the guy what he does, I think it's just tremendous and crazy. Yes. Look at what, what he did in Inter. Mm -hmm. He went, he saw, yes. and he conquered. conquered. Yeah. He has come to London. Mm -hmm. Do you know that Tottenham has never mm -hmm. drew with Chelsea or won against Chelsea? Mm -hmm. But when he came, yeah. though we were rigged, Anthony Taylor. Yes. You don't I want him as a referee again. Yeah, we don't want him to ref our games again. Yes. But I can say that Antonio Conte is a goat. What about you, Brenda? I'll go for him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, yes, Ten Hag has tried. But you know, in September, there are no games. I think there are two games played. Yes. Is it two? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's two games. But for Conte, uh, I, in fact, I voted for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So Conte is a, is a good coach. At least Tottenham will lift some trophies. I don't know, but this season they must. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, but uh, again, I mm -hmm. heard that uh, Juve is it Juve? Yeah, Juve are uh, still looking for Conte to replace Allegri, mm -hmm. but though I'm not sure. It's just media speculations. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the big matches that will be coming your way next week will be having an early kick of their Arsenal, Tottenham, Bournemouth, Brentford, Crystal Palace, Chelsea, and then Fulham, Newcastle, Liverpool, Brighton, Southampton, Everton, and West Ham against the Wolves. Your game there will be against the Crystal Palace. That will be the first game for Graham Potter at uh, uh, away to Crystal Palace in the Premier League. What are your chances of Porter performing very well? Are they high for you? Me? Well, yes. Mm. So it's Chelsea. Yes. Mm. From our first game, Premier League game under him will be Crystal Palace. Yes. That will be up next Saturday. Mm. Mm. We will win that. <laughs> and for you? Yeah, for me, mm. he has had a bit of time to learn, mm -hmm. to learn the culture of the team. Mm -hmm. you, you see, when the Queen passed on, they were, the yes. games were, were mostly postponed. postponed. So I believe he's now clicked mm -hmm. and he, he knows the best starting 11 to start. Do you know, even behind closed doors, yesterday, Nizak yeah. in Sri the Chelsea journalist, he reported that mm. they played. Though they lost, they played. Yeah. I believe he can deliver. He will deliver. Well, Brenda, yes. as we finish this conversation, let's talk about the big game that will be coming next week. That will be Manchester United versus Man City. Oh, Man City versus Man City. You know, Man City are bad boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those people can read any team now. Mm -hmm. They are good with the Haaland added to their team. I don't, I don't think now they are, st they are stoppable. But still, Manchester United and Man City, that is a derby. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, it's a Manchester derby, and uh, with the derby, result can go to any side. Yes. Yeah, it will be a tough match, mm -hmm. but uh, I'll go for City win. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a, a, a big one for you there for Manchester City to win against Manchester United. What about Arsenal Tottenham? Arsenal Tottenham, that's, it's a derby too. Mm. Yes, it's a tough match. Arsenal are on form. They are very, very on form now. Tottenham mm. is good. Mm. We've seen uh, Tottenham this season. They are good. They are the title co contenders. Arsenal too, they are number one, but I don't trust Arsenal. Yeah, they always sleep a bit when the league is about to end. Mm -hmm. uh, Tottenham, Arsenal, a draw. A draw? Yeah. Well, I usually would like to see how that one is going, but I believe, in my opinion, <laughs> yes. I think uh, Antonio Conte and Tottenham is going to win against Arsenal. In that match, but when I say manga or gopa, I kick off. So, <laughs> in as ender, either way, either way, it can actually go any way that it can actually go in that one. And then we'll be having Liverpool uh, in the 5 p.m. kickoff. We'll be having Bournemouth there versus Brentford. Well, what a great match this one is going to be. Then Fulham, Newcastle, Liverpool, Brighton, Southampton, Everton, and then uh, West Ham versus Wolves. But uh, let's uh, see from your point of view, the way this season has kicked off, does it look to be a very good season for Liverpool? Uh, from my point of view, uh, Liverpool, they have started up, they started off a bit shaky, mm -hmm. but we don't know. Mm -hmm. We cannot predict. Uh, they, may, they may shake off the dust, Yes. but if they continue with this form, Mm -hmm. Trust you me, yeah. Jürgen Klopp will be sacked. Wow, that's a very good uh, prediction. Uh, you're not actually the first person to say that. That uh, Can they be patient enough with him to perform? The, uh, you, when you look at Arsenal, patient team, patient fans, patient management, Ateta now looks to be working. Liverpool doesn't look to, be, to do that with the Jürgen Klopp. Okay. Uh, Okay, I don't, I don't know the best analogy to use, mm -hmm. but we cannot be performing at the best level. Mm -hmm. Then, all of a sudden, we, 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 we are the best, we are, we are the worst club in the, in the league. Mm -hmm. yes. So, if he continues uh, with this form, mm -hmm. I expect him to be sucked. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, a, a big one there, there's that kid from uh, Brentford. Uh, I think uh, Ivan Tony you were talking about, who is coming up. It looks like a kid will not stay in Brentford for long. Big teams will be coming for him, but his major one was getting that England call up. Yeah, the, this, um, the, before the window closes, yeah. I think uh, was it? It was Arsenal or Tottenham. One team was scouting him. Yes. Yeah, Chelsea. I just overheard or oversee that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big teams will come in. But uh, I think uh, he should have some time at Brentford, mm -hmm. prove himself. Get uh, at Brentford, I know he will be getting much more time, playing time. But you know, uh, if he, he he goes to another team, a bigger team, let's say yes. Chelsea, mm -hmm. or let's say Manchester United, yes. or Tottenham, just one of them. You know, mm -hmm. those big teams, they have competition, they have pressure. Yes. Yeah, in that team, you have to deliver. Mm -hmm. you, you play under pressure. Mm -hmm. So maybe a team like Chelsea, there is a competition. We have a Boma Young there. Yes. Kayavat playing as false nine. Mm -hmm. So at Chelsea, I think, yes, he can prove himself. But uh, right now, I would prefer mm -hmm. Ja he just stayed at Brentford for even one season. Mm -hmm. Now that from next season, he can see which way forward. Well, a big one for him. One, one player that you had with now, coach, has got to be Frank Lampard. Yeah. What a good season for him he had at Chelsea last season, brink of relegation. But this season really started coming up, a big win against West Ham yeah. uh, la last, in the last outing. He looks to be getting Everton to a very good playing style and they look to be challenging to come back to the top uh, four, to even to the top eight where they used to be back in the day. Yeah, 
uh, Lampard is a great coach. Mm -hmm. uh, when he, though his time at Chelsea he never went in the best way that he hoped for. Yes. He's a great coach. Mm -hmm. Some some Chelsea fans may argue that Timo Werner was mm -hmm. the reason for his sacking at yes. Chelsea. Mm -hmm. But the way he, he coaches Everton mm -hmm. with people like Anthony Gordon, mm -hmm. he went and acquired Neil Mope mm -hmm. from Brighton. Yes. And you saw the colour, the beautiful goal he scored mm -hmm. against them in the week in the weekend. Yeah. Uh, I believe his coaching style and you know he's he's he was a player, mm -hmm. and uh, coaches who are formerly players, they have this small relationship and pull mm -hmm. toward uh, and uh, and a small soft spot. Yes. Towards the players, so I believe Everton may come up strong this season. Mm -hmm. Though many people they they you know recognizing his work in Everton, yes. I believe they will come up strong this season. Uh, what what do you think, Brenda? Yeah, I think Frank is doing a great job at Everton. Mm -hmm. We can all see. Now look at uh, Alexi Wobi. In uh -huh. fact, I'm admiring yeah. him so much right now. Mm -hmm. He's better than our midfielders. That's yes. what I can say as we speak. Yeah. Iwobi is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Frank Lampard is doing a great job. I, I just think what he need now is just, he needed that team. Yes. He was not to go for that big team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when oh. he came to Chelsea, mm -hmm. most people said that he, it will not work for him at Chelsea. But now he's going to Everton. I think he yeah. can build up, he can build that team. Mm -hmm. He has uh, um, young players like Anthony Gordon, mm -hmm. Damari Gray. Mm -hmm. Players like that, you can build them. Right now, Everton is good, but yeah. let's wait and see. Well, thanks a lot, Brenda, for coming here on the Touchline Vitalis. Asante sana. Team yaku, unaona mkimaliza wapi season ikisha? Ah, it's okay. The question is a bit tricky. Yeah. I have hope in uh, Graham Potter. Yes. But if we continue not scoring goals, uh -huh. Trust you me, mm -hmm. we will miss out on top four. Well, that's where we come to the end of the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Rosoro. Special thanks to Vitalis Marubo and Brenda Oworo for coming here on the touchline. Special thanks to Maxwell Wasika and everybody who made this broadcast a success. From the touchline crew, we say good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254.